So we know you're from Silicon Valley. We know you're the CEO of a big company. But tell us, to begin with, a little bit more about yourself mm -hmm. and your journey to NetSuite. Yeah, well, we're, it's the long story or the short story. My, myself, uh, I was born in the Midwest, um, grew up in Nebraska, ended up going to Stanford for university. First of all, actually, I wasn't on a plane. I took the train. My dad worked for the railroad. So I, didn't, I hadn't been on a plane yet, but I went to Stanford. And I was going to go to medical school. Um, Spent you know, four years, got accepted to medical school, uh, and before I did that, I decided to see if I actually wanted to be a, a doctor. So I spent two years in a, uh, working in a, a veterans hospital. And after those two years, I figured out everyone was sick, and I really didn't enjoy that that much. So uh, I had to change jobs quickly. I was in Silicon Valley, so I, so I managed to roll into high tech. But I, was, I had a very fortunate career in that I sort of started at the semiconductor level. I worked for Motorola in my first job, uh, then moved up to system software. I worked for Sun. Uh, on the operating system side, then went to Oracle databases, and then I went to McAfee. And uh, at McAfee, security software company, my last two jobs, you probably don't know the story of McAfee, but John McAfee, if you know him, is known as kind of a, a lunatic. Um, but as all lunatics are, he's crazy smart, and he really started three things that are important for what we're doing today. The first thing he did was create the freemium model of distribution. So this was before the internet existed, it was the ARPANET. He created this antivirus toolkit and he put it up on the internet and he said it's free for end users. But if you're a corporation, you have to buy it. And so what would happen uh, was the users loved it and then they'd bring it into the corporation and we'd call Ford Motor Company and say, you know, you have 10,000 licenses that you're not licensed for, would you like to pay for those now? So that was, and now today if you look around the internet, the freemium distribution model is really how a lot of companies get started. But he did this in, you know, early 80s. Uh, the second thing that he did was, uh, he said, when, when you pay us, we're not going to charge you a license. You know, you